Assalamu alaikum students this is Farwa Batool your O level computer science instructor and welcome to another video In this video we are going to start another chapter of section number 2 algorithms programming and logic of your course O level computer science The chapter is named as boolean logic The word boolean means that you will be dealing with two values true or false or in other words one for true and zero for false so you will be dealing with the binary data now let's quickly see the content of this chapter in this chapter you will learn about the identification definition symbols and the functions of standard logic gates let me quickly tell you that what is a logic gate a logic gate is basically building block of your logic circuit and logic circuits are used in computers in ssds and processors in different logic circuits so these are the building blocks or the fundamental blocks that you use to make up a logic or a digital circuit there are six standard logic gates they are named as not and or nand nor and zor so in this chapter we will be talking about the functionality definition identification and symbols of all these basic or standard logic gates and next we will be learning about how we can make up a logic circuit or create a logic circuit by using these logic gates for example by using not and or nand nor zor by using these fundamental gates how we can make up a logic circuit that is definitely going to solve a problem so next designing logic circuits using logic gates then deriving the logical expression and the third thing is the truth tables what are truth tables truth tables are basically the tables that you work on in order to find out the output of your logic circuits or logical expressions so yes if i talk about in general there are in this chapter the first thing you will be learning are the fundamental logic gates and there will be six standard log logic gates that you will learn their functions their definitions their symbols their tables and all and you will be working on how to make up a logic circuit for a certain problem by using these standard logic gates then you will be working on the logic expressions for different circuits this is vice versa sometimes the logic expression is given to you and you have to make a logic circuit and sometime the logic circuit will be given to you and you have to derive a logic expression and the third thing is you will be working on the truth tables to find out the output of your logic circuit or logic expression so let me quickly show you these what an example of logic circuit logic expression and the truth table to make you clear about it so here you have six different logic gates look at the symbols not gate and gate or gate nand gate nor gate and zor gate these are the symbols of these gates and if i talk about in real life it looks like this you put in on a chip and then you give them inputs on one side and take output on the other side or sometimes output on the same side so there are different type of logic gates that you use in a chip to make up a logic circuit now let's quickly see a logic circuit made up of different logic gates okay so here is an example of logic circuit that is using 
logic gates look at this and gate zor gate or gate this nor gate so these are the combination of logic gates that make up a logic circuit and here is the real example of a chip that is using different gates look at here to make up a circuit and definitely this is going to fulfill a certain function or going to solve a certain problem so this is how we can design different circuits using the logic gates fundamental or standard logic gates and we can uh, solve different kind of problems by working on it now quickly showing you a truth table that how a truth table looks like so you can fill it and you can find out the output of a certain circuit okay so here is an example of a truth table uh, this is representing a certain circuit every logic circuit has a different truth table depends upon its input values how many inputs it is taking depends upon its intermediate outputs or the number of gates it is using and then the output we will be working on through all these binary data so this is how we are going to trace the values and we will be uh, looking at that how these values are being changed when they are passing through the different logic gates and finally we will see the output of any of the logic circuit so we can find out that either the problem is being solved or not so this is all about this chapter you will be working on different logic circuits that are made up of logic gates you will derive a logic expression let me quickly show you a logic expression also for the circuit here we go this is an example of logic expression look at this this is the logic expression that is representing this logic circuit in logic expressions you are showing the inputs and the gates that are being used uh, in the logic circuit so this is all about boolean logic you will learn about gates logic circuits truth tables and the logic expressions so stay tuned stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel in the next video we will be formally starting with the standard logic gates and their definitions bye bye